Okay, when you start to see the edges getting good and white around the edge, you're going to flip them over. And this is always an adventure where I have this, this big long spatula. But these things are, ah, are slippery little buggers. And they don't want to behave. Okay, it's now about 20 after 1. I just got back from getting some eggs. And now I'm going to uh, mix up some, uh, an electrolyte drink. And then I think at about 2 o'clock or 2.30, if I'm hungry, I'll start uh, making my dinner. And I think I'm going to make that uh, fried cod with the panko pork rind breadcrumbs for dinner. Okay, so that was the electrolyte mix. Now I'm going to mix San Pellegrino with it. nice to get a little fizzy fizzy taste with it now we're going to put some ice in it and we always drop the obligatory ice cube on the floor top on. I like this this container here because uh, this thing is like a drinking straw. So you shake it up real good. Then you just drink it out of the straw. Mm. Not bad. Okay, we're going to turn pan on to medium high and let it heat up and we're going to take some of this bacon grease and put a good deal of it in there so we can really almost deep fry these things that'll take a little while to come up to temperature so we'll let it Sam's Club has this so uh, a whole bunch of different wild caught fish and I try to eat wild caught whenever I can I don't like farm-raised fish. I don't want to eat a fish that was fed artificial food, grain-based stuff. I want to eat a fish that eats what it's supposed to eat in the wild. And I buy these things, and when they have a decent price on it, I, I buy a lot of it, and I cut it up, put it in the freezer. This I bought back in June, and uh, I like to rinse it off under some cold water. And then I blot it dry before I do anything else with it. So we'll cut this open. It's a lot of fish. It's still a tiny little bit frozen, but not too bad. That was one piece right there. Look at that. Wow. Okay, well, that's too big a piece to deal with. So we'll take that piece and we will go ahead and make this into two pieces. And I think that uh, I'm going to fry these two pieces and I'm going to put this one away. And maybe have it with my breakfast tomorrow morning. So I'll put that in here. Because that those two pieces should be more than enough. Now that's really all that, that takes. Then I'm going to go ahead and get a plate and a 
a bowl for my egg, my egg batter. The plate is going to be for the uh, the panko crumbs, the pork rind crumbs. So we'll need an egg. One egg. real salt in it. I like to over salt these things. So I don't even re I don't even salt the fish. My philosophy is you can always add salt when you're going to eat it if it needs a little but you can't take any away. So this is my egg wash. 301 degrees, 300. It's getting there. It's almost there. All right. So let's take our, our breadcrumbs here, our panko breadcrumbs, and this would really help if, if I had a cameraman and a producer and all of that good stuff, but this is a, a one-man operation. So I'm going to take some of these panko breadcrumbs and I'm going to spread them out on the bowl. You don't want to be stingy with these. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of the fish, I'm going to dip it in the egg, and that makes the, uh, the breadcrumbs stick, and I'm going to dip it in the, in the breadcrumbs, get the bottom nice and covered. There's just no clean and neat way to do this, unfortunately. And I'm going to take and sprinkle some, some more of this panko stuff on top. There we go. And I'm going to take that and lay it down in the grease, the bacon grease. This is a back and forth to the sink operation. And then, get that stuff off the hot burner there. There we go. And then, we're going to do the same thing with the second piece of fish. Dip that into the egg. Lay it down on the breadcrumbs. Put a little bit on top here. This is about the, the single most complicated thing that I cook. And I, I don't uh, do this very often. I, I think that maybe once a month I will make myself some breaded fish. It's not one of my staples. My staples are usually, well definitely, bacon, eggs, and beef. And so as not to waste any of, the, of this stuff, we will sprinkle what's left on top. There we go. Okay, when you start to see the edges getting good and white around the edge, you're going to flip them over. And this is always an adventure. That's why I have this, this big long spatula. But these things are, ah, are slippery little buggers. 
and they don't want to behave. There we go. Well, that one was first, so I'm going to let this one cook just a little more before I flip it. And then we're, we're going to look for the temperature in here. Still cold. I would, I would look for a, a, a 140. And right now it's still, there's 140 right there, but in this part of it it's still 90 degrees. So I'm going to let it cook. You really can't overcook this too much. And I'd rather have it flaky and well cooked than have the raw fish. But even the raw fish won't hurt you. There we go. See, there, there is a use for this bacon grease after all. So we're just going to let it cook and we'll be back when it's done. Okay. Just check the temperature and it's over 145. So our fish is done. And I'm going to just take it out. Put it on the plate here, and what would fish be without chips? Ha! <laughs> I know, I know, it's not fried potatoes, but it does go crunch, and it makes a nice accompaniment for this fried fish. So there you go. Let me get a fork. Cut into this. looks great. I'm going to taste it. See if it needs a little more salt. Mmm. Plenty of salt. Well, and there you have it. It's going to do it for me today. I'm going to eat this fish and pseudo chips. And uh, after that, I'm going to take the rest of the day off. It'll be the last thing I eat today. I'll probably eat again 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. And I have some uh, beef in the fridge. I have a steak to cook. So we're going to skip the bacon and eggs tomorrow. And we're going to make it kind of a beef day. But that's it. And that's all you need. So with that, everybody, take the rest of the day off. Eat meat.